All right, welcome to the Bookmap live tra trading webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap, and it's live analysis, forward looking. Uh, let's jump right in and uh, see what's going on in these markets. We got a lot of stuff to go through uh, and take a look at here. Uh, zooming out, looking at the order flow, uh, we can see uh, the open here from uh, uh, you know on on the 27th uh, and um, uh, the uh, kind of overnight here. Um, and the and the nice nice trend to the upside here, as you can see, um, this is a you know a weird uh, market uh, due to the geopolitical geopolitical stuff that's going on out there. We don't know when something might happen, uh, and uh, we have to be very aware of that, uh, and also uh, just uh, you know be, be very keen here uh, and agile. Uh, basically. Uh, so let's take a look at the higher time frame uh, to begin with. I uh, just wanted to look here at in general at the order flow here as you guys can see uh, the um, uh, kind of grinding trend here uh, to the upside uh, since uh, you know uh, you know 10 p.m. Uh, uh, last night um, and uh, yeah so and we're still in this uptrend. Okay, so here's our 9:30 cash open, and you can see the volume pick up, and it's mostly buying in here, and okay, it's not all buying, of course, but like uh, mostly buying in here, as you can see. But look at the icebergs on the other other side here. So this is significant. I mean, we went from about zero down to about four 4,600, uh, and um, uh, you know we'll keep an eye on this as well. Uh, but let's jump back here. Let's look at our higher time frame uh, to begin with. Okay, so. We've been looking at the same chart for quite a while here. We've got the daily on the on the left hand side here. We saw the massive rejection here. We were looking for a higher move on um, Friday. We got it, uh, and uh, now we can see we um, uh, opened up here, uh, kind of back down in this range here on the daily chart. But look at the buying pressure again and rejection here. Okay, we know what rejection looks like. You know these wicks, uh, and uh, uh, you know this is a. A, a green candle at this point uh, we're starting to see a little bit of selling selling off uh, here uh, in the daily but let's jump over now to the uh, the hourly here in the middle uh, here is our re big rejection candle uh, on the hourly what it looks like you see the gap uh, and the move up higher this is what we we're looking for on Friday uh, and then uh, well you know here here's our open and you can see uh, again mark some market structure in here I mean it, you really it's really important to understand your market structure uh, and then the order flow around those structural areas uh, you can see this pullback kind of almost to this little red area in here there's a red candle a move back down and a move back up this is no different than many of the things we're going to look at in the order flow as you guys know uh, and um, uh, so uh, yeah anyway we uh, look into you know, I want to see a gap fill basically uh, up here uh, in this uh, in this action, so let's see if we can get a, see some more bulls come in on this hourly chart uh, and move to the upside. Uh, here's the 15 minute chart over here, uh, and yeah, you can see that uh, almost kind of filling the gap or not the kind of lower end of the structure here uh, hasn't quite uh, gotten there yet, uh, but looking for it to uh, you know maybe back up into this volume cluster up here. Okay, we're going to look at the order flow, understand these clusters, uh, and um, uh, maybe back up even higher above it, uh, back up into maybe this area up here around uh, 4380, uh, some wicks up there uh, from Friday. Okay, so these are some of the areas on the higher time frame that we want to take a look at and we want to understand. Uh, and now we're going to look at the order flow in book map and see what might be happening. This looks very similar to Friday. In fact, uh, we saw this uh, on the bid. Look at the order flow here. Okay, look at the um, uh, on the bid at higher areas here, here, and here after the cash open. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, it's bullish. Everything is bullish here. Uh, good morning, Alan. Uh, and um, uh, Let's see, 43.50, uh, we're just shy of it here if we kind of zoom in. Um, looking for a, a move up into that liquidity. It did in here, you can see. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're still bidding up. They're bidding up underneath here at 43.25, 43.30. Uh, so uh, uh, some selling starting to come in now as well. Okay, so reaction uh, to the liquidity in here. 
Okay. You know, it's it's so important to understand in here uh, the reaction to liquidity, uh, the reaction to uh, the market structure or the the volume, uh, the the aggressors in here. So looking for these guys to tr trade down into this 30 area here uh, right now. Here's the reaction. This is why. Okay, we we see the uh, kind of move higher. Look at the selling coming in. Looking at pull away from this area up here, look at the reaction to this liquidity here. Okay, uh, buyers came back up here. They did not even trade to it though. We see sellers come in again. We're looking for that move into 30. We're just getting it right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious what's gonna happen down here at 30. And let's see if they stay in the order book here. And they are. So they wanna be buyers down here. That's what it's telling us. Um, so, uh, uh, anyway, I need to go through the disclosure here uh, before we get into more details in the order flow here. There's our move into 30, okay? Interesting move. They're still bidding up even here. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm still looking for sellers to come back down and trade lower uh, into these areas here. Okay, but again, reaction to this liquidity. What does the market feel about you know, how does it react to this liquidity coming in at 30? See, here we go. Do we find buyers? Okay, or is there still selling pressure? Do they want this liquidity? Do, do sellers want to deal down to here? Okay, see them pulling up here on the offer. Or do we find buyers? You know, it, and it's not just us looking at this. I mean, larger players are doing this. Uh, on purpose to, to understand where you know what does the market feel uh, about some of these areas in here and then like this they'll pull you know so they, they're just kind of getting a feel for it anyway guys let me let me take a step back let's go through our risk disclosures um, and then we'll uh, jump back into it a little bit more here uh, know what you're getting involved in this is all for educational purposes. This is live forward-looking analysis. It's part of our education uh, in Bookmap. Uh, we have an educational course that's online, uh, four parts to that, and then you've got these live analysis webinars, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 10 a.m., uh, and then we have JTrader, a stocks trader, at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, and then Thursday we have uh, Scott Pulsini, a futures trader. Okay, so uh, uh, the reason that we have the live trading here with them is so you can understand their way of trading okay so we have the course you have the live analysis to understand how to apply uh, what you've learned from the course forward looking instead of hindsight so you can really learn uh, and then we've got live trading as well so pretty complete education uh, and that's uh, the um, the goal here so general disclosure all bookmap limited ma materials information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations risk disclosure trading futures equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results all right so let's jump back in here and see what's going on uh, yeah so uh, back to 30 here and then we're looking for a bit lower so uh, we see the selling pressure coming in still looking for them to go lower and here they go okay 25 and we're we're finding we're understanding this market here and just then this this small auction here okay understanding they're still selling pressure okay so looking for them to hit this high liquidity Uh, look at the offer. See the offer coming in here. More liquidity on the offer. Starting to find find a bit of buying now. Now, one of the things in here, um, you know, when when you see this. Uh, Liquid, liquidity come in here and now we know that, they're, that we're finding some buyers in you know is the, the this liquidity here is starting to now repel uh, uh, traders but let's just not get ahead of ourselves here yet has what is the market structure telling us here anyone uh, this is a question what, what is the market structure telling us here in this move 
Alec, I love it. <laughs> First one. In. You're getting a lot out of it, Alec. Uh, sellers in control. Exactly. So the market structure, uh, where where would you think that uh, you, you guys would see the structure starting to break? Okay, in this small time frame. There's a few different, um, you know, uh, areas to look at. Okay, but sticking with the big plan here, well, it's it, this is a, it's a still a smaller time frame trade, but it, there's a plan here, okay, and this plan will help keep you on course. Uh, is uh, to understand the structure and who's in control. Okay, so uh, let's see, 43, 31, and uh, 37 here. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like, um, yeah, kind of 31, 32 here, uh, and then also 37. I like them both. Um, uh, so, uh, y yeah, the this is where they really took control here, as, as Alan pointed out, um, and, uh, and they dropped it. Okay, here's the pullback to where they dropped it from. This is where we were just reading this liquidity up here. And, uh, yeah, they didn't even tangle with it, and there, there's more liquidity in here at a lower level on the offer reaction was we found some sellers now okay so we're looking for it to trade back down into this liquidity here 30 then if it can continue uh, to go lower look at the structure here even look at 35 here okay, and on the, we'd like to see a little, a little more selling in here it's not bad but it's not that great either um uh and and did the structure break here no it didn't okay so here's our structure we can even we can even draw a trend line in here I mean, yeah, you can say that kind of broke, but like, I mean, basically, um, uh, let me do that again. Hold on. Yeah, let's be let's be fair here. Um, uh, typically, you would draw it like this. Okay, and, uh, just getting kind of a feel for it, uh, and uh, it's kind of a zone in here. But this is really what's important is this structural area in here and the, the break below it and then the retest back to it here, okay? Or even a point of control, this area in here is kind of where it went to basically, okay? So sellers are still in control. So, you know, when you start to see, oh, look, buyers are coming in, they're, they're bidding up like uh, um, uh, under here. And uh, we're we're finding the reaction being buyers. Don't don't get in, get involved into it, uh, you know, unless you see something the structure starting to break, and maybe, then maybe look for maybe a retest or something in the breakout that looks really significant, really strong. Then you've got something. Here we don't. We're we're still going with the downtrend until we see something different, and this will keep you uh, away. It'll just save your account. Um, uh, keep you from uh, uh, buying uh, into something that's uh, uh, still trending down. Okay, so, and we're still trending down. Now we can start to look at the how this trend is working too. Now, see, see how we're going to get, we're going to test some structure here. It looks like we're still in a downtrend. We're still staying, staying sell side uh, until we see something different. Now, we can start to look at this though, and we're we're starting to see a few things, uh, interesting things. Where is the selling starting to really pick up in here? It's down here, right? I guess a little bit up here, a little bit, right? So, you know, maybe we're just going to kind of go from downtrend to sideways action here, okay? And then maybe we'll see a reversal, okay? But the structure has not broke. So we're still, we're still in a downtrend. This is even a lower high here still. It's a lower low for sure, okay? It's getting interesting though. Here's one of the things that we know where the most of the volume traded down here on that sell side. Okay, so we can see them get upended uh, and start to find buyers come in uh, and uh, uh, you know make a higher low in here and then maybe a higher high. Now we, we've kind of just tested an equal high here just about. It still, still looks a little lower here. Okay, let's see if the buyers now come in and try to break it here. Okay, now we don't really see much here uh, yet. So uh, you know, if if we saw like you know lots of selling down here, um, then lots of buying maybe up in here, a retest down here, a higher low, and we don't see 
uh, selling down here. Uh, and then we come back up and we start to see buying. We're looking for the breakout. Okay, and lots of buying. Then it, it's it's really kind of telling us, it's blurting out to us that, uh, uh, you know, we're looking for the a break of that structure, a breakout. Okay, some icebergs, uh, absorption. This is these are other ways to start to kind of put these pieces together here. Uh, absorption here, and here, and also here. Okay, they're they're absorbing, or they're staying in the order book. I shouldn't say absorbing. It's a very specific term. All right. So yeah, we we still didn't see something yet. You know, we're possible that uh, they upend this volume down here. Well, they didn't. Uh, we didn't we didn't break the structure. We still stayed within the structure. Now we have a nice stop run here. Let's zoom out. Let's get a kind of a understanding of it. Yeah. Okay. So nice stop run. Uh, beautiful move there. Uh, and uh, now can we get back up above the stop run? This is another thing we're looking for. Testing the opening swing. Yeah, thanks, David. Yep. Yeah, exactly. All right, we've got to get buyers back up above here. Let's zoom in here. Let's get a feel for it. Okay, do we get our buyers yet? Nope. What does the order book look like? You know, no, not yet. Starting to get some here, but uh, no, I, I does not look good to me. Uh, I, I need to see more in the order book here. Uh, and uh, I need to see more volume here. Aggressor, uh, aggressive buyers here. Uh, if you guys haven't um, uh, watched it yet, I'll, I'll show you where you can find it. But uh, Moby did uh, uh, a webinar for the extended trading hours. Uh, and, uh, you know, he looks a lot at these sweeps here, especially in the NASDAQ. So uh, you want to learn about some of these stop runs and sweeps. Uh, this is um, a, a good webinar for you. Um, all right. So even even now, I mean, this is looking better. Right, this kind of volume looks better. They want to pull it away from this area here. Uh, I don't know. I if I was looking at this, maybe a trade back up to the structure here, but that's about it, and it's already there basically. Uh, we need to see a lot of buyers in here. This is not convincing uh, at all. It, it may, it may, you know, turn into something else, uh, but uh, uh, you know, it just doesn't have that look yet to it. Now that looks better. Okay, there's some buyers here. Okay, they're trying to pull it away now. Okay, interesting. No stop run here. So this is new buying coming in. All right, all right, buyers, let's see if you can do it then. Move it up to 35, move it up to 40 here. We're getting a pullback. Yeah, I'm looking for these buyers to try to pull this higher, try to pull it away here. They're interested, right? So now, where are these where are these buyers going to defend this uh, as well? Good morning, Dove. What do you guys think? 39 no 30 yep yep exactly so this is where they started buying and this is where they broke the structure here see you can see it i mean it's it's so so visual this is one of the beauties of a book map um uh here you know this this is buying coming in now we this you know we might see sellers try to try to drive it you know and trap this buying in here okay but i'm looking for these buyers to defend it here Okay, so let's see what that defense looks like. They should be in the order book. They should be here bidding up. 
Uh, and then we should find, again, another stream of buyers coming in right now, basically. Right now. Okay, if they do, right up to 35. Okay, they're defending it here at 30. Let's find more aggressive buyers up into 35. Looking for them. And they're pulling there at 30 now. Okay, there they see the see the push here. Now do we we should find our buyers here. They should defend this. Okay, anyway, this is the primary scenario that the buyers defend it and we're looking for a 35 and 40 here. Okay, more liquidity at 30. Again, reaction to it. So we're up up here, so we should see another move. We should we should get this move to 35. Okay, and then looking for the breakout into 40. Okay. Uh, beauty of this, uh, you know, knowing this is new buying coming in here. Well, we don't we don't see uh, uh, many stop runs in here. Good morning, Tom. <laughs> okay, that, you you hit the fat finger, uh, uh, Alec, on that. All right. Okay, so we're building a nice little cluster in here, as you guys can see in the profile. Still, nothing has changed though, nothing yet. We're looking for buyers to defend it here above 30. Okay, now we may see an order flow disruption or change, and if we do, we'll, we'll look for these sellers and they're going to trap all these guys and look, look for them to really drive it lower here. Okay, they're going. They're going for it. Yeah, on the sidelines on this one here still, like, uh, is this a false breakdown? Does it come back up into this range? The curious thing is that we know that this is new buying, right? That That's the, the, the um, kind of interesting point here. So I'm still looking for them to defend it, and I, I just don't see them defending it right now. They, they started to a little bit here, and then they pulled. Okay, so now they should they should be able to come rocketing back in up here. Now we should get we should get some buyers in here. And they should be able to move it up to 35. All right, let's see it buyers. This is it right here. If we don't get them and we get sellers down here, we're going lower. Okay, it's looking good though. All right, so almost at 35. I'm looking for them to break out into 40 though. Not just the top of 35, looking for more than that. Let's zoom out. So yeah, move up to 40 would be nice. Uh, this is where it broke down from and we drew this uh, rectangle here. So that's where they're going to be testing it here.
Okay, liquidity on the bid here looks good. At their, uh, now they're pulling here. All right, we should get the move into 40 here. Let's see it. Buyers, let's see it. Sellers get out of the way. Buyers come in. Should be able to hit 40. And we'll reassess after 40. And we can start to kind of draw up a, a trend channel here as well. 40 looks good. Just looking for 40. That's it for right now. And they should defend it here as well. At 32. And they are. All right, they got it. If we can get up above 34 here, we should get a nice move. All right, it's wide open, buyers. You should be able to hit it. Let's see it. There we go. All right, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, now they're above it. Forty is the POC. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, boy, I, I'm showing something uh, around here. Uh, it looks like about 38, uh, Alec. But uh, uh, but I also see this one here at 40 on the five-minute. Okay. Okay, there's our move into 40. Okay, I, th I think it still has a little more juice in it here, a little bit higher. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, you know, that that's it for now. I mean, like, uh, yeah, maybe maybe a whole bunch of buyers come in here and stream in here and hit 50. But, like, we don't have any, like, look, this is where we saw the sellers take control. Now they're being tested. This was the target here. Now it's time to take a step back and reassess, right? So now how, do, how does that relate to your trading plan? You know, or your, I'm not your trading plan so much as your trade management. Okay, we'll take your profit. You know, I mean, we don't know um, what's going to happen at this point, right? Uh, but we were looking for a higher probability move up into about 40 here. Okay, and that played out pretty nicely. Okay, so uh, yeah, now we can get, you know, a move back down maybe to the trend line. I mean, like uh, you can see it's, it's kind of, it took its time here. Back to the IB. At 48.50. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at our initial balance here. Um, I don't have any sort of like a, a software that looks at initial balance. Uh, but it's the um, the first hour, right? All right. So what we can do here in, in Bookmap is we can uh, we can still mimic that here. 
or we can we can represent it here. Let me show you. Uh, th there's this kind of it's kind of little little hacks in here. Not not necessarily hacks, but um, uh, you know, uh, using using Bookmap and using this chart range to our advantage. We use it all the time in, in, uh, for, for software development. Like, uh, you know, the, the CVP column is for chart range volume profile. The, the book and the volume uh, and balance indicators are for chart range volume profile, or I mean uh, chart range um, uh, data. Uh, our CVD, we, we also use it sometimes for chart range, or you can use it for chart range. Um, so what we're going to do here is mimic it in using our chart range here. So we will go here and look at, use this tool here for zoom and go from here to 1030. Left click, hold and drag and go to 1030. Okay. Now we have that uh, volume or that data here uh, in book map, All right? So uh, yeah, this is it here, right? They would be here at 37 and, and, and 50. So David, you you show it at at forty eight fifty. Yeah, you guys show it for forty eight fifty. Or thirty. Forty three twenty one. Okay, All right. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. So, well, then maybe I'm doing it wrong in here. Um, but uh, yeah, the point was, I guess, to, to, to try, try to show if you're looking for a specific um, amount of data within Bookmap, um, the um, uh, you know you you can come in here and uh, uh, put that within your chart range uh, and then estimate or you know read that uh, information. So, for example, like uh, this little cluster in here. Okay, we want insight to this cluster in here. Where's the point of control of this cluster in here? We'll put this exactly within your chart range. Use this tool here, zoom by drag, left click, hold and drag from here to here. Okay, now that is within this chart range and I can look at my chart range volume profile. So it's kind of a, a different way. Instead of drawing a profile, you're actually drawing on the chart and selecting that data and then looking at your profile, right? So it's, it's kind of a different way of doing it. Um, uh, and now we have the data here, right? So uh, you can look at, well, the high volume node was actually down here. So uh, somewhere around um, uh, this uh, uh, 4340 uh, area, okay? The balance area, um, Initial balance is uh, uh, the first hour of trading, uh, Alan. Okay, what is, what is the balance of the imbalance or balance of that? Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, thanks, Leo. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah. The, and, and the initial, um, uh, within that range, um, what was the high? No, understood, understood. My, my uh, I, I, I knew something was wrong there. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, understood. Yep, that's it. It's up here, right? This is the high. Okay, it's not. It's not the point of control. It's the. It's the high of that first hour of trading. What is the high? Well, this is it up here. Okay. So uh, uh, and here we go, going right toward it, making highs here. Okay. So now fifty. Okay, and through fifty. Look at that. Look at that. So Alan, that would be in the first hour. What's the high? What's the low? What's the POC, etc. 
and there, there's reasons for that is understanding that most of the volume trades within the first hour to hour and a half uh, so you want to understand you want that data you want that insight okay this is something Dalton did um, uh, looking at the um, that initial uh, hour of trading and understanding the data around it from what I understand too, I mean, I've I've heard him talk about it in in webinars that uh, he doesn't really look at that as much uh, any longer. It became less important to him. There was something else too. There, there was kind of shocking to hear some of those things from him, um, and it, it it made sense though, like with the algorithmic activity, like uh, it, it it just. You know, he, he kind of had to change and adapt. Uh, I'm sure you guys know a lot more about it than I do. Uh, so uh, feel free to chime in here. All right, guys. So nice, nice breakout and, and uh, nice stop run, though. So let's be very, very careful here. Okay, so we have, we have also um, icebergs over here and a stop run here. Now, this is different. This is very, very different than what we were looking at earlier. We were noticing new buying coming in here, right? After a stop run down here. Okay, this is a really important point in understanding the order flow and the dynamic here. Okay, we're looking at, um, and I gotta go through this in, in hindsight. I, we're, you know, I'm actually, I mean, we see this is nothing but buying in here. So it, the order flow is telling us it wants to come up to 60. Okay, but this is a little bit, have to be kind of careful here. Okay, we're already up here pretty high. We already, we just had a massive stop run here. So I'm looking for actually a pullback and we've already gotten some of it um, back down to here. Yeah, it already, it already did it. Um, but I'm looking for more of a trap to the long side and then a pullback now and retest this 50 area here. Okay, so sellers coming in. Um, this is new buying starting to come in here. Well, some some still getting stopped out. Okay, well here here's our move. Our the the order flow ruled here. Um, uh, traded up to 60. Okay, and we're still we're still seeing it. But you know I we're seeing lots of stop runs in here. And we just have a massive iceberg that just uh, uh, got filled in here too. Okay, so looking for them to try to pull back to 50. Okay. Uh, any questions on this? You understand what I'm what I'm talking about in here? This is very very different. People getting stopped out. Okay, this is new buying. Yep, in here. Okay, this is a stop, bit of a stop run here, and uh, yeah, some new buying coming in here, uh, and a bit of a stop run up here. Okay, but the order flow is different in here. Now we, we got to go with it. Um, wh what is telling us until we see something different? We're looking for those kind of um, telltales in here. Okay, one is an iceberg that that helps. And now we're looking for a lower high, and now looking for sellers right here, actually right now at 55. Let's see if we can get them here at around 55. And we're not. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it, sellers. Let's see if we can do it. And then looking for them to drive it down to not 54, but 50. I want to see them drive it away. And they're not. We're looking for that scenario, what it looks like. Right? We're not. We're not getting it. We're not. That scenario is not unfolding here. So we're still going, you know, we're still looking for buyers to take this higher. Here's lots of liquidity at 56, and we're finding buyers. Okay, we're at highs of the day. Here we are at 60. Again, and breaking out. Okay, they're still supporting it here underneath as well. 
at least this one one large player here is. And it looks like some of it of his uh, order got filled here, but he's still in here, pulled, added higher. Okay, so here we go. Now, now we're starting to see something maybe a little different in here. Let's see these sellers try to drive it right back down to 54 or 53 and three quarters here. Okay, and then 50 after that. Okay, the, this can be a really nice trap uh, if we see something like that. And I would look for a stop run on the other side back down to here. Yep, good stuff, Leo. Yeah, and David targeted 80, 80, 50 up here. Yeah, let's take a look at our higher time frame since we are breaking out here. And this is pretty strong, pretty strong buying in here. I'm, I'm still looking for this, uh, or the, at least the scenario here to unfold, and it's not. It's still, you know, there's still buying in here, so you know, you gotta, we gotta go with it. Yeah, looking looks looks like they want to go to 65 and 70 here. Okay, but very very uh, kind of leery about this. And uh, want to see a, a move back to this 50. Uh, let's jump back. Let's look at our higher time frame and see what's going on. Okay, so we got our kind of gap fill here. Could go a little bit higher. 77. Yeah, and here's here's the uh, the the eighty um, eighty and a half that uh, David's mentioning up in this area here. These wicks, right? So, looking for uh, buyers. Can they continue to drive this higher up into these wicks where we found sellers on Friday? Well, the hourly chart says yes. Fifteen minute chart. I don't know. I mean, it's, this is nice, nice candle here, but it just kind of went up into this structure here, previous structure. Yeah, I, I would just love to see this pullback to right, right out and and test the top of this smaller structure right in here, this cluster. Okay, so around forty-six fifty maybe. We're we're just talking about fifty here. Uh, forty-six fifty somewhere around down here. Yeah, David, you're looking for that pullback as well. Um, <laughs> well, so far, I mean, it's, you know, this is why, like, it's important that we know what, um, and we have access to this because of the stop and iceberg indicator. Uh, we know that this is a stop run, and we know that the, there's some icebergs up here uh, transacting. Uh, so, and, and pretty significant ones, like down here as well as is here. So, uh, you know, we can look for a, a pullback to this 40 area here, uh, in fact. Not just 50, but, but 40. Okay, so here, here we go. Okay, so here's where the sellers just dropped it. And let's see them continue. Or if we can get a pullback maybe to 57, 58 here. Okay, so there's our pullback. OK, 
Okay, and now looking for sellers to hit it again here. Okay, leg one, pull back, leg two. Let's see if we can get down into 50. Yeah, don't don't like it. Don't like it right now. Okay, there's a little bit of help. Okay, and buyers, there's appetite for it. So yeah, it's a harder harder read in here. In, instead of looking for this kind of flag pattern, like leg one, leg two, it's a little more convoluted here. All right, let's see if we get our sellers now though. Okay, we just had these buyers here. Now we're looking for the sellers to come in and now try to drive it lower. And yeah, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't just just doesn't not look high probability. It's not that clear in here. It might do it, but you know, we we don't know. And and we're looking for something that gives us some uh, just a higher um an edge here, uh more more clarity. That's what we're looking for. If we don't see we don't get our clarity then let's just uh you know st stay away okay the nq is going down thanks alec alan correlations yeah yeah correlations are i i love love the correlations um yeah just it when all all of these can get on the same page boy you get some nice moves All right, yeah. So that looks good one. Good one, Alan. Looking for them to take it lower here. Okay, here comes some sellers. Okay, so take it down to fifty. Let's get rid of these trend lines. Okay, the bid is bid at fifty. They're even bidding up underneath here. So supporting this, it's kind of interesting. It's a it's it's a it's a breakout and a stop run here. Um, but they're supporting it, right? This is a little bit harder to read as well, I think. The reason being is, is because it was a stop run. Now, just because this is, I guess, this point across, though, I think it's so important to understand, just because it's a stop run doesn't mean that, you know, you, it's going to turn around and reverse uh, and, and then go through the, you know, that this is all trapped up here, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it can it can be a stop run and you can just get new buying coming in and and drive this higher okay, and we we're looking for that but we kept on getting stop runs in here like this is some new buying in here okay but there's a st another few stop runs in here and here so that's not new buying vix is pulling back yeah thanks leo Boy, even the correlation here didn't quite work. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we're kind of, we're trying to read those correlations, but, uh, uh, you know, this in here did not look like the low volume pullback we're looking for. So, you know, it was, it just wasn't giving us that clarity. I mean, at this point here, this was kind of an odd move here. But at this point here, this as a pullback, now if we got the sellers down here, it should do it. But we got this. Instead, we didn't get sellers here. And then it was just kind of all over the place in here. The only thing, the, the, the correlations was true, what Alan was uh, showing. 
that uh, uh, yeah, you, you can see where the buyers started to come in and come in again. Now they're breaking the structure and they're breaking this one up here too. So now, now we're losing, you know, kind of a, a, we're not seeing the clarity. You're not getting the edge here. Okay, let's uh, take a take a deep breath here and look look back at our uh, higher time frame here. So it might be just a, a a bit of a lull for a moment and and continuation. I mean the uh, higher time frame is telling us it, it wants to go higher. Okay, order flow is kind of all over the place in here. Okay, well, they're starting to come back in. All right, so let's see it, buyers, then. They should be able to get back up to 60 here, then. Looks like they're going to go for it. All right, so there we go. Now, let's get to 60, and let's get through it here. They're pull they pulled that liquidity at 60 and a half. So they can go up to 62 or 63 now. 63, basically. Come on, buyers should be able to do it right here and at 60 and up to 63. All right, now 63, our higher time frame, we're looking for 68, right? I believe. Is that it? No, 80, 80, 80 and a half. Okay, so up here, this liquidity up here. All right. Well, let's check out the auction up here. How's it? How's it auctioning up here? Well, it it hasn't gotten a spike above it. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for buyers to spike above it here. Above sixty. On up and and you know explore sixty five and, and and seventy here. There's our weak top, as we know. And here's our breakout. We're at 65 already, still looking for higher. Pull back immediately. And a stop run up here. All right, well, let's see if we can get a bounce maybe off of this cluster here. Right, right about at 60. There we go. There, so it's just, just testing 60. All right, let's see if we can get some buyers off of that. And nothing yet. Looks like the sellers actually want to take it down to 55. Nothing, nothing yet, no interest. Yeah, David, like um, these pulls are, are, they are nasty. I mean, like uh, this is, this is how it, you know, the market just shakes us out of our money, uh, our positions, uh, and just uh, it gets us all kind of uh, uh, discombobulated, basically. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, this is where I think, though, um, uh, it, what helps me a lot is market structure. 
uh, and and taking some profit uh, along the way. Uh, also, just uh, something that uh, Alan's just chiming in right now. Um, you know, looking for those higher probability setups. When we know the order flow um, is, is telling us, it, you know, has a higher probability that's telling us that it wants to go this direction, the market wants to go uh, to these areas here, um, and then ride it to that area. And then at that point, it did what we were looking for, and we're looking for more clarification and insight uh, at that point. I, I mean, that helps build so much confidence, uh, I feel. So we're just looking for those simple moves to unfold. Now that you know that that can be extrapolated. That same concept can be extrapolated to um, just looking at our higher time frame here. It's like, well, you know, this is now this is much more of a leap of faith in here. But you're like, well, okay, you know, uh, we our higher time frame was we started to see the, this 15 minute candle. Um, we saw we, we started the webinar we had the red candle uh, and then we started to see that buying coming in and we're like okay well then they should be able to reach back up into these areas here they did uh, and they started to break out from these areas and we were a little leery about that looking for that pullback uh, for sure but you know we're seeing some strength in here so looking for the momentum to continue you know we don't have order flow with this candlestick chart uh, we're just kind of looking for, you know, understanding zones uh, and uh, kind of overall picture of what the market is doing. Uh, and, you know, there's your kind of leap of faith and just going, with, you have to kind of go with it. Uh, uh, but in the order flow, though, this is where we can get more insight is we can look at this and start to understand. All right. Well, then, you know, we're looking for something to support that bigger idea. And let's just mark up some structure in here. Uh, this is this is what uh, yeah it is it's helped helped me tremendously. Like you know, okay, is the structure still holding? Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, so then we're looking for this to continue on. Um, yeah, scaling in and out is is is, is great, uh, David. That should that should um, absolutely help with the confidence. No, no question. Um, you know, and you can build a position over time too. Like you know, you get really good at scaling in and out. Uh, someone like Scott, you know, that's what he does. Uh, he's looking for that bigger move for the day, uh, that one day of the month maybe, uh, and then just n n annihilating it. You know, that's something um, I, I really like the, the way Scott manages um, those positions. He gets a new setup. He's already in a trade, but he gets a new setup. It's just a new trade. And then he'll move, you know, he'll move his stop up from that previous position back up into uh, where the new one is. So he's like, OK, well, you know, it's a new trade and I'm going to manage it as a new trade, but even can include my old one in it. And he's taking some partial profit along the way too. I mean, like this, this here. Here's a here's a question. You know, like, well, here's our market structure. Here's our buyers here. Okay, so wh where do you want to take your profit? You know, th like you can see traders are reacting to this kind of structural area in here, and look at the selling coming in. So, you know, do you want to take your profit in front of that area or are you looking for these buyers to try to move it back up and maybe just slightly break it here, you know, and then take your profit around 67? These are these are questions that, that are uh, kind of hard to answer. I mean, it's something that you have to come to terms with uh, as a trader. How, how do you want to handle it? Or, you know, or you don't, you're not worried about like, 
you know, scaling out a little bit here, you know, maybe getting back in, or you'd, you'd probably be getting in back around here if you'd scale back in, and then you're looking for it to break now, right? Um, or do you just hold it and just say, well, I, I'll be out if, it, if the structure starts to break, I already start to see something down here in the order flow that tells me something different, um, then I'll get out. Uh, but uh, you know, you know, if you if you just kind of stuck to your guns in here, you're still this is still looking good, right? Looking for the pop up into seventy here. I mean, there's nothing. There was nothing in the order flow here that told us this was going to come in like this. You know, sellers just started to come in, and they, they drove it back down to this liquidity here. Yeah, these guys came into the book. They came in a little bit later, and then the reaction was the sellers. But in here, yeah, I'm, I, I would have looked for it to, to trade up to 68 here. And it, it did, it finally did, but, you know, it had to do this, this kind of nasty pullback here. Uh, yeah, David, that's that's a good point. Actually, we're working on something like that. We, um, I, I, I do actually have a, uh, uh, a kind of rudimentary um, uh, uh, version of the scratch point that um, FT seventy one uses. We we are working on something like that. So uh, you'll you'll have the overall kind of um, um, you know if you take some profits if you you know or or take some losses or whatever um, you know it gives you your overall kind of break even point. Uh, can you? Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm back. Can you can you guys hear me now? Can you see? Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks David. Uh yeah, yeah. So, um we 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 will have something uh for you soon, David. Yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty simple indicator. Um uh but it, you're right. I mean, it's so helpful. Uh, it'll give you a kind of overall position uh, of your break even. Yeah, I'll find out more about it. Um, guys, uh, you know, we have a, a lot of developers um, in the Ukraine. So. Uh, you know, getting back to you on development issues, etc., um, is going to be obviously a little impacted at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, heart heart goes out to those guys. Um, and um, yeah, tough tough situation. All right. Well, as you can see, you can kind of see what happened here with our, you know, we, we kind of mocked up this structure here. We, we did trade up above it and now it's breaking it. But, you know, we're, you know, we're trying to, we're going to read the order flow in here and, you know, where the sellers came in and took control and started to drive this lower. And, and what, what this means here, I mean, like, you know, we, we have to kind of abandon this structure now for a minute. Um, I mean, you, you might you, you might be one of those kind of guys like, okay, well, you're going to retest the backside of it and then get the continuation to the downside. Um, but um, uh, you know, I kind of kind of uh, look at it now of, of abandoning this this here and looking for like another another structure, 
okay, and order flow around another structure now. So sellers taking control in here and driving it lower into this kind of bigger overall kind of consolidation here. Sellers again trying here, less buying in here. So looking for sellers again. Let's see, they should be able to break it now. Should be able to trade 60 and through it down to 58. Should be able to do it. 58 looks pretty good. I like I like 58. I know that this is only like three points, but um, this could be a bigger move as well back down into the 50 level that we were looking for earlier. We never got there. Anyway, um, another scenario here, and we got to look at this. Okay, is uh, and let's let's we'll keep it simple here. We'll just let's just go over volume profile, because uh, you know I could draw up all sorts of things in here and look at patterns, and it starts to get a little bit com complex. Um, market uh, mar market uh, profile or volume profile though. This is our our, uh, our profile, our cluster. Uh, we're looking for buyers or sellers to move it away from this cluster here. Okay, so now it's wide open here for buyers if they show up. And they've got a lot of these guys in here selling that can be upended. Now, what I like about this scenario of finding, trying to find our buyers in here and move this back up into 70 and, and then maybe 80 is because that matches up nicely with our higher time frame. Okay, we have momentum in here uh, on that hourly, even the daily, uh, you know, look at the candle here. We have momentum. Okay, so looking for continuation, looking for back up into these wicks up in here, 80 level. I'm, I'm with David on that, that uh, idea here. And uh, yeah, well, we got our answer here. I'd turn away for a moment and we get our answer here. Uh, sellers are driving it lower. Okay, so they, they, the buyers could not do it. They could not take it back up above here. And now sellers are in and they're, they're taking control, trying to move it away from this cluster here. Okay, now this is, this is a, a low volume pullback at this point at least. So low volume pullback, sellers in here, and then buyers, and look at the look at the volume in here, look at the volume dots, and look at the buyers in here. Now one one caveat on low volume pullbacks in here, this is actually not what we want to see in a low volume pullback. The, most of the selling's here. There's buyers above it, right? So we have to be really careful on the low volume pullback here because this is what can happen. See the buyers come streaming back in. Now we're back to that open to that same scenario again. Higher time frame, buyers 70. Okay, then this looks pretty good. I, I'm looking for this to unfold. Let me let me go over that again, so so you guys like because uh, that that was it's a lot. I I, I know. Um, uh, you know, and we weren't quite sure in here uh, what was kind of going on. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, the, the door is open here for those buyers. They didn't come in. Instead, we got sellers and sellers taking control. Where did they take control? Okay, identifying the, the selling pressures, okay, within the structure. It's here. Majority of it is there. Look where the buyers came in. Okay, they're above it. Right? So this is not the low volume pullback that we're, we're looking for. In fact, the low volume pullback would be if this is consistent buying in here. And then if we came back to here, you know, and, and we saw a lot less selling, that would be our low volume pullback. But the consistency in the buying like this is what we want to see, right, for a low volume pullback. Because the buyers took control from this point onward. Okay, does, does that make sense, Alan or Alec? Yeah, okay. Because we, we've gone over this now a bunch of times, and we've seen it again and again. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is how we get these pivot points in here. 
uh, and and you'll see like this is a, a false breakdown. Okay, now the if the low volume pullback would be something that here maybe maybe it would be there. Let's just get rid of all these for a second. Okay, you might get something more like this. This move outside of the range, low volume pullback to here, only to here though. Okay, not above it. Uh, and then and then we're, we get a retest back down here and then more selling and we're looking for the continuation. So we didn't get that. We got buyers back up above this area here. Okay, now this this is where they dropped it originally. Uh, but uh, look at, you know, it's not a whole lot that they dropped it by. It's not a whole lot of volume in there. All right, so let's clear those. Okay, now we're getting our, let's see, is this a low volume pullback? Not really, not really. Look Look at the Look at the, the volume dots in here. In fact, let's, we can, we can look at the bars in here too. I, I really like the bars. I think that the clarity in the bars is, is really good. Uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of equal volume, right? Maybe a little bit more buying than selling. And another way to look at it would be to look at your columns data. Again, put that within your chart range from here to here. Okay, and we can look at this in here. Now we can split this out, or we can look at the delta as well. Okay, a delta column. Yeah, and you can see that there's there's more selling in here. Which is kind of funny. Is this is this cluster here, and also this cluster in here. So it's not really the the low volume pullback that we're you know the the typical one, the one that we want to see when the, in a trending environment, right? So we just we did our due diligence there, and we understand that this is not really the low volume pullback that we're looking for either. In fact, we can see this selling in here. There, we're already above it. So I'm looking for buyers back up here, 64. Let's see if we can get that. And then a breakout up into not only 65, but 68. There we go. Okay, looking for 68. I should be able to do it. Should be able to get back up to the highs here. And, and this liquidity up here at 68. Okay, and then we're back to 70 here. That was really quick, but we'll go through it again. We're kind of looking at it, the volume within this little consolidation period in here. And then looking for the break right away here. Okay, and, the, and you should be able to take it higher. Okay, now let's take a look. Where, the, where did the buyers come in? They came in here. So we're still in an uptrend here from this little time frame here. Okay, this is this is the low volume pullback here. Okay, let's see now. Let's see if we can get buyers back up above it here. It, it, there, the sellers were able to get it down below it. I want to see buyers back up above it here, 64. All right, then they got it. So let's get back up to the top of the range here. And then let's see the breakout here, 68. Or 70. At this point, let's go to 70. We saw this kind of activity on a, in a really choppy day. I mean, these, these choppy days can be so unnerving. Um, but making sense, though, of where that volume is transacting and then looking for them to like get squeezed one way or another. Here is where it's transacting. Okay, well, looking for them to support it. Okay, well, sellers got down below it. All right, they get upended here. Sellers down below it. They're getting upended here again. Looking for the breakout now. This is this is a strong volume we're looking for. This should hit 70. This should hit higher. This might hit 80 here. This is strong. Look at the difference. 
Okay, we're already at 70. Okay, let's look for where it might pull back now. Okay, first pullback would be into this cluster here. It's already done it. Okay, second pullback would be back down here, top of the range. I don't know if we're going to get that. This is strong. This was a strong move. So looking for more like a strong move, shallow pullback, continuation. Okay, buyers basically down here supported it. Where this is where we're looking for our support, I should say. Okay, let's just draw this up quickly. Okay, support here, here, and then also here. Okay, looking for those clusters of buying. Buyers are in control here completely, right? So here, this is why we're looking for continuation. Okay, and we're looking for support in the order book on the bid. We're looking for them to pull on the offer. And we're looking for the higher time frame move and continuation up into our 80 level. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, well, even look at the bars in here and look at the dots in here. This is all like very, very strong buying in here. All of this is low volume pullback, all of it. I mean, in any of these pullbacks is low volume at this point, right? We're still bullish. And you can see how this keeps you in these trades. You know, understanding the order flow and who's in control, and and uh, uh, and putting these pieces together. I think I think I'll entitle this one uh, "Low Volume Pullback." Who's in control and low volume pullbacks. So, so uh, David, uh, just um, you know, one of the things here that this, I've also found this to be very helpful about understanding order flow and then leaning on the order flow here, of like you know, in here you don't have to get, you know, you don't have to take little little profits, uh, and uh, and scale scale in and out. I mean, if you see another setup, sure, go for it. But in here you can kind of it's it's pretty easy to stick with it. Because you, you know who's in control here uh, and that these are low volume pullbacks. So you, you can rest easy here. You're just looking for this to play out to the upside. Does that, does that make sense? Okay, because like, you know, in here, we're no, we're not resting easy. We don't know. Like, it's like, whoa, you know, we got, you know, volume on one side, volume on the other side. Um, and, and you can see where the majority of it's here, but then there's buyers above it or major, majority of the buyers here and their sellers down below it, right? So we don't, we don't really know. Um, uh, this is how we started off this webinar, basically looking for that reversal down here, noting the stop run, and then, well, noting this here to begin with. It was like, okay, 
tra trading into high liquidity but look where this volume is, is is really transacting here this is where buyers can take it okay and they didn't they didn't break the structure they never even broke a structure here and we don't even see high volume on the buy side in here either okay now we got the stop run the majority of the volume is down here and here look look at my crosshairs here look over to the right at this area here see where the buyers took control above it above all of that volume okay so uh there there we go and 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 look at the pullback here i mean it came back to this cluster here but uh um uh, anyway um same ideas in here right Okay, and we're just about up to your 80 level. Okay, so you th this was, uh, I mean, sa these are the same concepts here. You know, and I went through some of them really, really quickly because the order flow was, it, we just had to, we had to go with it. Um, uh, but the same concepts in here. And then this here, there's no reason to worry about scaling in, in my opinion. Unless unless you really want to leverage into it, then yeah, I mean, I guess you you could, you know, you look look for a pullback and and getting back in. Uh, you're just buying kind of the lows and maybe dump some off at the high here, etc. All right, so let me see here. I got to get back to some questions here. Sorry about that. Uh, Alec, did I answer your questions? I'm sorry, I, I kind of got lost there with, when things kind of picked up. Uh, and then let's see, Leo, before below uh, 55, you can see a quick move in the initial balance high and low volume area in the SVP. Fifty-five. Let's see here. Yeah, here's your. So you're talking about this pullback in here. Well, yeah, initial balance high or just cash open high was at this point was up here. Okay, and then, you know, the breakout here, I didn't trust it. I mean, the volume looks good in here, but it was just massive stop run after stop run. Um, I was looking for the, a bigger pullback to, to, to 50, basically, in a bounce, but we didn't get it. Um, and then uh, we had to kind of, like, or you know, started to cover, like, the order flow in, so, in some of these smaller pockets or areas in here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're looking for the continuation here. Uh, and we're here, here we are up at 80. Beautiful. So yeah, Leo, if, if that's something that you you look at, then you know go go with it. Um, the um, You know, and, and you're and you're looking about that this first hour of of volume in here. I mean, in in essence, you know, you you, you get the the volume. Um, it it makes sense. Uh, you know, I'm, I I know I know Tom Tom B looks a lot at the uh, initial balance uh, a lot, uh, and uh, I you know, it it makes good sense. Uh, there there's um. You get the volume smile, you know, every day you see the, uh, the you know, massive volume and then it kind of, you know, weans at the midday and then it, at the end it kind of picks up, right? And you get this kind of big smile, right? Um, and uh, so it makes sense to understand like, well, this is where the high volume took place. Now, how is our day shaping up after that? Okay, where's the balance point? What's the low? What's the high, et cetera, um, of that? How is the market reacting to that area? Uh, and uh, here's our breakout from it, but just because uh, uh, it broke out, we had high liquidity, and it was the stop run that was different for me. 
we knew that this was new buying coming in here and that was very different this is not new buying well there is some in here um, in these areas where we don't see the stop runs okay and then we're kind of assessing it in here and it was it wasn't yeah too too apparent to me even though the order flow if we didn't if we didn't have the stops and icebergs in here it would have been just going yeah we're, we're long you know we're going long um, and and that's it the order flow is telling us uh, but d due to these stops and icebergs I was a little more hesitant to be honest and it was icebergs too so in this case actually the the stops and icebergs like it, it gave us um, insight but it didn't help us <laughs> with the analysis and uh, this is a just a, a beautiful move in here okay but see, see how, like, um, you know, we were talking about it before this broke up out into 80, that this this here gives us a good feeling of this. This this is strong, strong move, strong volume, moving it away from an area here. Um, and then here you don't have to worry about it scaling as much as you can just, just here you're just worried about holding. Uh, and then looking for your profit, your take profit. All right, so now let's take a look at our higher time frame. Okay, well, here's our move. Okay, so I think it's probably still got a little bit left in it, at least to test above it and at least knock some stops out. So looking for some pretty big stop runs above it here. Uh, let's see if we've gotten anything yet. Not really, not really. And let's see, David, let's, let's take a look at your um, image here. Come on, where is it? There it is, okay. Scale. Scaled out, yeah. Well, these are great scale outs. Great, great stuff. I mean, heck, you, you know, you can see it, you can see it in here too. I mean, like, uh, uh, look at your, look at, this is, it's just really no different. Um, Look at the cluster down here. I mean, just the candles going back and forth. And look at the strong breakout. Pull back to where it broke out from. Same ideas. Okay. Where do the buyers take control? They took, took, took control. I mean, like, we'd have to go back and look at the order flow in here. This is where we get, this is where we saw our move, right, at, 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 um, during this webinar. Uh, this was the pullback here, I, I believe. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Um, uh, even this here, look at strong breakout back a little bit back and forth and down here, breakout, pull back to where it broke from and it continued. Yeah. So, uh, uh, good stuff. Uh, sorry, David, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to share that or not, but, uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, yeah. Previous high of day. Yep, yep, Leo, exactly. That 43.84. Yeah, those those wicks that we're looking at. Yep. Okay, great. So you just have one runner now left, David. Excellent. Good trading. Way to go. So it looks like you got out a few or in, in, in a few as well in there uh, in that range. Yeah, this kind of back and forth in here before this big, big breakout. But once you're in this one here, this is looking great, you know? And it's just like, this This is, well, we covered it, you know? This is, we're just looking to hold up to our target here. And God, I, I can't believe it, you know? Oh, there's still some juice left in it, you know, we said. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking for some sellers in here at a certain point here. Now, this is where, like, line up your order flow with your, with your structure. Okay, so yeah, pretty pretty nice, you know, trading up into this liquidity up here. All right, well, we know we're up at these highs, uh, even uh, previous day high. Leo is talking about this 84 level. Great. All right, look at the buying up here. Do we get sellers below it? Here they go. Let's see if we can get them here, and they should be able to come right back down and test into 80 here. 80s would be a good kind of target for it. OK, 
Okay, so now we're putting together higher time frame analysis and order flow, looking for sellers in here. Okay, and just looking for the move down to 80 here. That's it. Okay. Now the order flow here is not telling us that it's it's not it's not very good right now. You know we're we're looking for that scenario here and, and we didn't get our sellers in here, right? So there's no clarity in it. Like you know we're not seeing it. It's not ready yet. The order flow isn't telling us in here. Okay, we we identified this. We identified what it looks like. We're looking for sellers down below it here and then the move down to the lower end here. Okay. And, and again, now here, here we go. Now, now I think they got it. This looks much better. I'm looking for them to drop it into 80. Okay, and yeah, I, I would, I would take a shot at it. You know, it's not a recommendation here, but like, you know, it just looks higher probability. You know, we're, we're still going with the same concept here. They just went one higher here, once, one more higher, right? And there's your move into 80, right? And I would have gotten in here. It's a horrible entry, right? But the clarity was good. The idea was good, even though it's off of this trend line here. But, you know, I, I don't really care. Uh, I've got other things that are higher time frame uh, that kind of match with what I'm looking for in the order flow for, for it to unfold. Okay, so now they can continue on, uh, maybe back down to this area here, 75. Or, yeah, even this here, 73 or 4. All right, so now we've just come come through the European close as well. Uh, so, um, you know, this this is another thing. It, it, really important thing to understand. Like, uh, you, I mean, you guys are looking at it, these initial balances. Why? This is what I think is so important to understand. At least this has help, helped me so much. Why do I care about the initial balance? Uh, okay, David, you got it out because of the European close. Yeah, excellent, great. I mean, great trading, David. Break of the initial balance and range extension. Yeah. You only okay, so Alec, you only watch the initial balance because I know higher time frame participants will step in on the break. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this this is more of more kind of what I was looking for. Um uh help frame the trading day, but the but um uh yeah, and there could be statistics around it uh and the break of it. But it, 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 it again, is, it's like it, what we just went through with the European close here. There's specific times uh, of the day when you get a lot of participants. Uh, and in the first hour is one of them. So this is why, it, it, you know, understanding like what the, um, what the meaning is behind it. I mean, a lot of professional traders, like, you know, they don't even show up until the close sometimes. And that's all they do is just trade the close. So, you know, and th th because they, they, they have so much experience and they know what they're looking for at the close uh, where there's just massive volume. And, and get some idea and direction of what, what might happen at the close. So this is turning into a nice move back down lower. It's already through 75 target that we're looking for. Looking for 70, basically. You know, now we, we really have something here, right? You know, we, we covered this. Uh, we had our higher time frame. Uh, we were looking for that area to test and then, you know, maybe hit some stops above it and then look for a move back down 
Um, and the, the move back down on the 15 minute chart would be somewhere around here, 63 or, you know, 60, something like that. Okay, this is where we had the kind of a, a little bit of a pause and then a breakout here. Okay, so yeah, 63, 65 would be down here. This is where we broke out from. All right, here's 60 down here. All right, so. Oh, cool, David. All right, so you started making flashcards. Can I show this, David, if, if that's okay with you? Well, I mean, you got it in here. <laughs> I keep thinking it's a go-to webinar. Um, and I don't know if you want me to show it or not. Um, yeah, here you go. Yeah, this is excellent, you know. Excellent. Great, great stuff. I mean, like, you know, and, and you're getting a feel for it. Uh, writing this stuff down. You know, getting a feel, expectations or, or anticipations of moves and things, and 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 uh, uh, start to get a, a feel for it, um, uh, and and where price might be moving next. Yeah, great, great stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, this and, and this is playing out really nicely. Okay, so the move up into eighty, uh, a little bit higher here. Uh, thanks uh, for the, uh, I think it was Leo said 84, previous high. Okay, yeah, well, it made it up to 85. 85-ish. And we're looking for it. We're looking for the volume up here and then sellers below that area here. Same ideas, same concepts on the move up. Okay, so here, here, here. That's where the volume is trading on the buy side. Underneath here, if we can get sellers below that, great. And that's exactly where they dropped it. And a retest almost back to it. Uh, this is not a low volume pullback. That's a little tricky. Okay, this this uh, seller is in here, pretty strong buying, trying to take it back up higher. Okay, that's That's a bit tricky. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, yeah, good, good stuff there, David. I love it. Love the plan that you, you're, uh, and the flashcards here, uh, marking up your zones, looking for certain things, uh, and then understanding the order flow around these areas in here to give the insight. All right. Well, let's. Uh, boy, sorry, Tom. Uh, <laughs> it's gone through the European close. Uh, turn it over to Tom. Let him take it away. Uh, for the afternoon uh, and um, uh, yeah great great stuff uh, Tom as you guys know he's doing over there great work uh, and uh, going through the uh, the order flow uh, within the volume profile and market profile uh, understanding your profiles uh, understanding the, uh, these concepts I, I know he's he goes through that 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 initial balance quite a bit uh, and uh, yeah my only point on, on the initial balance was just understand what it is and then why. Why is it important? Not just because Tom said it is or because you read it in a book, right? That's what's so important. Uh, uh, it's just like CVD. Oh, well, the, I, I read this in a, in a book on a CVD setup or something. Who cares? What is the CVD doing? What exactly is it doing? Uh, and then understanding what that means in context of the price structure. That is telling you something. Right, and that that is uh, uh, just excellent. Uh, once once you really start to to understand what it is you're looking at. Okay, cool. Yeah, sounds great, David. Yeah, Tom's doing just fantastic work over there. No, no, no doubt about that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I, I can't, I, I can't get a full day in. Uh, no, 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 not at this time, uh, which is. Uh, which is kind of a pity, but um, uh, you know I've got um, uh, many, many other kind of uh, uh, things going on over here at Bookmap, uh, and uh, and bringing on um, you know uh, edu edu other educators and, and other uh, other people uh, like like Tom um, is uh, a big part of it here. Okay, so uh, Tom, take it away, and 
uh, we will uh, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. Take care.